All right, so one more example here of solving a trig equation with coefficients in the argument. And here we're going to solve 2 times cotangent of x over 2 equals 2 times root 3. Uh, the first thing, again, I'm going to do is simply uh, get rid of the 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So let's do that. So if we divide both sides by 2, we'll just be left with cotangent of x over 2 equals root 3. Okay, so um, I'm going to do two things again. I'm going to sort of do a replacement here. So I'm going to let y equal x over 2. Um, and again, since uh, x was originally in the interval 0 to 2 pi, that means x over 2, solutions to that would have to be in the interval 0 to pi. Again, I'm just basically taking half of everything. But again, that's the same thing as y. So again, we're trying to solve equivalently cotangent of y equals square root of 3. But we only want solutions that fall in the interval 0 to pi for the value y. Well, let's see. So what is cotangent? That's a, a cosine over sine. Okay, and again, I just kind of go back and think about unit circle stuff. Um, so let's see, at pi over 6, that's where we get root 3 over 2, comma, 1 half on the unit circle. If I take cosine, uh, well, that would be root 3 over 2, and divide that by sine, that would be 1 half. Well, root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half does equal square root of 3. So one solution to this equation would be at y equals pi over 6. Um, another place where we would get root 3, uh, let's see, almost at 5 pi over 6, but, you know, at 5 pi over 6, remember, um, you know, one of these, uh, the, the cosine is actually going to be negative. The x-coordinate will be negative, so we won't get square root of 3 there. So um, I take it back. There's actually uh, no other solutions in the interval from 0 to pi. So we've only got one solution. It says y would have to equal pi over 6. Um, but again, we said y is the same thing as x over 2. So since y equals pi over 6, that means x over 2 would have to equal pi over 6. And again, since we're simply trying to solve here for x, we can just multiply both sides by 2. That would give me x equals pi over 3. And that's going to be our lone uh, single solution to this equation in the interval uh, 0 to 2 pi for x.